Hey Capricorn, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Aotero. I'm here to give you guys your new moon in Sagittarius reading. We're going to tap into this energy, see what's going on with you in this new moon. But before we get started, guys, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new reading. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Alrighty, guys, as you all know, my readings are meant for sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. These are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Guys, don't forget to check your other placements so you get a better understanding of this energy. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. Cross watchers are always welcomed. And don't forget to check your other placements. I think I said that already to get a better understanding of this energy. All right, guys, um, and there is no gender in tarot, okay? I hope I mentioned everything. If you would like to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what is going on here with my Capricorn. See what is the overall energy in this new moon in Sagittarius for Capricorn. What is the overall energy here? Eight of air. Hmm. Somebody is really stuck in their head. Somebody's going through it right now, very depressed. Because there's no victory. There was no, there was, there was a truth that was hidden that didn't allow a new beginning here for you. Okay, so I feel Sagittarius that you're dealing with the situation where you could have been in a relationship with somebody and this person was hiding the truth from you, and there was no new beginning. You didn't feel the victory in this connection, and now you're really stuck in 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 this energy. You're really depressed. You're really stuck in your head. I feel like this person pulled their love away from you. You felt at one point this person was wish fulfillment to you with the nine of waters here. But it was just a lie. This person just lied to to try to get you to do something or just to be with them for the moment or until they got another person to be with, okay? And this came in as a tower moment for you, okay? With the two of fire here, I feel like you're, you feel like you're in, in this energy. I don't know why I see this person like being sad, just sitting there and contemplating. You're in this energy where where you you want to get out of this already like you're tired of this funk you're tired of dealing with the crap is what i'm getting okay what else universe here for the capricorn page of fire here in the reverse i feel that the person that you were dealing with was a manipulator this person had very in and out energy they could have even been juggling you with other people and you found this out okay for a lot of you guys, you actually thought that you were the only one in this person's life. Yep, they broke your heart. Mm -hmm. This person didn't allow you into certain parts in their life. They really broke your heart. They lied to you. They they just put you in a real bad headspace, I feel. This person has really done a, done a work on you here. Let's see here. What else? The Capricorn. You felt that you finally have found this person that you were going to be stable with. Okay, with this king of earth, you felt that you finally found the one, okay? But this was a false new start with the ace of uh, ace of fire here. This person was only after one thing and one thing only. And you were in such a, a full energy. You were giddy. You were happy. You were taking these leaps of faith with the person, but never even knowing and realizing that all you were going to end up being is stuck in the seven air energy. You're going to feel the betrayed you're going to feel like somebody has that, that, that just did so much to you. Like it's, it's again, you're going to be in this, in this eight of energies, eight of sword energy, where you felt like this person just lied to you, betrayed you, deceived you. They, they just did so much things for you, but you were so happy. You were so ready to have this new beginning with this person. And this came out of nowhere. Okay. You are currently broken up with this person. The person you thought you were in a soulmate connection is gone okay with the with the hangman here you feel like you're stuck but don't do that don't do that to yourself okay because i feel that once you come to terms and you realize that this is what it is you'll be able to get out of this it's going to take you some time it's going to take you some work but you're gonna be able to remove yourself from this okay you're gonna be able to get away from this king of fire from this person that you were dealing with with the four air you need some time you need some time to relax you need some time to rest. You need some time to rejuvenate. And within time, I don't know where things are going to start changing for you. With the work, 
you're going to start getting, you're going to start feeling the passion, the motivation to start moving on. You're going to be in this queen of fire energy. You may even meet another king of fire here, okay? Somebody that will be soulmate material for you, but you have to release this past person, okay? You got to give this up already with the nine of fires. You got to let it go, okay? You will achieve one day your happy home, your happy life, but you have to get rid of this energy, okay? You got to get rid of this funk. Leave this situation out in the cold already with the five of earth. Leave it out. It's no longer going to serve you. It isn't going to do shit for you. There is no love here. Please understand there is no love here. And this is a karmic situation. This was a karmic relationship. You needed to go through this to understand that next time when you do have the opportunity to be in love with somebody, don't let that wall down just like that. Don't be blindfolded to the cutie, cute little things that they can do for you. Or don't be blindfolded to the up, utmost craziness, a, hap a happiness that you can have, okay? Always keep your guard up. Always keep in mind that not everyone around us has a good, in has a good, um, <sighs> doesn't have any malice or intent to, to destroy you. Every Everyone around us always has something to do. They not everybody is meant to hurt you, but you got to keep that. You got to keep it in mind that they can hurt you. So you don't go through this pain anymore. So you don't go through this situation. You got to understand. You got to keep your guard up. You at least don't don't carry the same energies you, you dealt with in, with this person in a new relationship. But what I'm saying is that just keep that guard up. Just don't give your all into the situation, okay? You got the five of air here. I feel that it's time for you to start fighting for you, okay? It's time for you to release these ten of air here, the, the backstabbing that you felt with this person. Release the sadness and let it go already. It's time for you to start healing yourself. It's time for you to start working on yourself. It's time for you to dedicate time to you. Pull yourself from this energy already. Make sure you start working on yourself. Rest, rejuvenate, prepare yourself because for you got something beautiful coming towards you. I just, I have this feeling with this sun, with this sun card here. Like I know even though I use it in as example that you get blinded by the happiness surrounding you, but you do have happiness coming towards you. You do. You have stability coming towards you. You got love coming towards you. Shit, you got a soulmate coming towards you. But before this person comes and knocks at your door, you need to heal, okay? This needs to be healed. There's still something within you that needs to be healed, okay? You still need to balance things out. You need to be very clear to yourself and very truthful that it is time for you to walk away from this person because there is no love here, okay? This person is an emotional manipulator. You are not an option for this person anymore, and you must walk away from that. you got to heal from that already, okay? So let's go ahead and get you some advice cards here, Capricorn, so we can close out your reading here. What is it? What is the overall advice here for Capricorn Universe? Be bold and make the first move. It, it can't be any clearer than this. Be bold. Make the first move, okay? Make the first move for you to start healing yourself, for you to start being in a better place, okay? Make that first move. Don't allow anyone or anything to hold you back from your happiness because you have a lot of happiness coming towards you. But you got to be bold. Make that first move and start healing yourself and don't stay trapped in this situation. Okay? Alrighty, Capricorn. I hope this resonates for you guys. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.